Every rock contains a record of its formation in history, although usually incomplete. The astonishing details of a stack of rocks in Jezero Crater, known as Kodiak Butte, now reveal the comings and goings of a Martian lake billions of years ago on this episode of Mars Guy. Perseverance is exploring the ancient river channel called Neretva Vallis, which helped build the deposit known as the Western Delta Fan of Jezero Crater. A paper published in April of this year is shedding new light on its complex geologic history, so I thought I'd share those results. Jezero Crater was selected for the Mars 2020 mission because of clear evidence that it once hosted a lake. A water-carved sinuous channel enters from the west, and critically, another one exits to the east. Water must have filled the crater to at least the height of the outlet channel before it could be carved. And the presence of a sedimentary deposit at the mouth of the inlet channel provided compelling evidence that a river delta had formed in Lake Jezero, a place that could preserve evidence of microbial life if it ever took hold on Mars. We knew from orbital images that the delta once extended much farther out, based on hills that looked to be formed of the same stuff. They likely were part of a continuous deposit that eroded back over eons of time, leaving them as isolated remnants. The most prominent one was dubbed Kodiak Butte after Perseverance arrived, and it provided the most compelling evidence for the River Delta story. This was prominently featured on the cover of Science Magazine, a bit like getting your picture on the cover of the Rolling Stone. The cameras on Perseverance, including one that uses a 4-inch telescope, captured incredible details like these sloping layers that flatten out at the bottom. Here's Mars Guy for scale. These layers are textbook examples of four set beds that form as a delta pushes out into a lake or a sea. Many more images of Kodiak from multiple angles and distances have now been assembled into an incredible 3D model that's the basis for a new analysis of the delta story. You can see it for yourself at the link in the description. A view of the northwest facing cliffs initially created some confusion about the delta story. Here there are layers that slope in opposite directions, which is hard to explain with a single advancing delta front. So this is clear evidence of a more complex history. The authors of the new paper have put together a bunch of detailed observations like this to come up with a coherent story, a geologic interpretation to explain them. They pick up the story of Kodiak Butte with a delta deposit that already is mostly in place. A feature known as a mouth bar has formed underwater at the front of the delta. Deltas on Earth commonly form this way as multiple mouth bars are deposited from distributary channels. When the lake level drops, a new distributary channel forms and deposits a new mouth bar from a different direction. This can explain the observation of layers sloping in opposite directions. As the lake level rises again, it allows the new mouth bar to build and extend over the initial one, creating the prominent lower four set beds of Kodiak Butte. Another lowering of the lake level exposed the top of the mouth bar, causing down cutting and emplacement of another mouth bar farther out. A roughly 10 meter rise in lake level led to an extensive mouth bar deposit that covered all the previous ones, leading to the uppermost package of foreset and top set beds of Kodiak Butte. The lake level dropped some unknown amount of time after this, leading to fluvial conditions, that is, rivers flowing across deposits exposed to air, also known as subaerial deposits. This led to the boulders that are so prominent on top of the delta, likely as raging floods surged across it. After the rivers and lake finally dried up for good, erosion took over and reduced the delta to what we see today. Kodiak Butte contains the rock record of a rising and falling Martian lake, a world away from the one recorded more than 50 years ago, chronicling the rise and fall of a Martian band.